Hello, and welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is John Bloom, and I'm a lead consultant at Pragmatic Works Consulting. And I want to talk today about Azure Databricks, and specifically the Azure Key Vault connection. So Azure Key Vault, if we would like to get some background on that, Basically, the Azure Key Vault allows you to maintain secrets, keys, and certificates, all stored within the Azure infrastructure. And the nice thing about it is that we can maintain versioning over time. We can administer who gets access to those keys, and we can store sensitive information in there as well. So it has a lot of benefits, uh, and it use, it's used within the Databricks. It's used in a variety of other tools as well. In order to do work with this tool, we'll need a scope and we'll need some secrets, and then we'll access them from the Databricks. So let's go ahead and get started. So here you can see that we have a Databricks stood up, and we've already connected, and our cluster is running. Likewise, in our past video, we explained how to connect to a storage account from our Databricks, and this is the code that we used. The, the bad thing about this methodology is that we hard code a lot of these values, and one of these values that's hard coded is this key. And that's a sensitive key because that's how you connect. So typically we would not want to show this uh, to most uh, developers or, or end users because then they can get into uh, our storage account. And the way that we get around that is by using the key vault. So this is what the key vault looks like and we've already stood one up. And you can see that we have keys and secrets and certificates. And our secrets that we created so if we look back at our uh, notebook in Databricks, uh, we have this thing, which is a storage account name, as well as the container. And lastly, we have our SAS, SAS token. And here you can see we have our container name, our key value, and the, and the account name. So how do we connect the Databricks to our key vault? Well, you have to create a scope. And this is the URL. Uh, to create that scope. And basically you give it a name and then you could specify creator. So only the creator would have access or all users would have access. And then you specify the key vault name and the resource ID. But we already went ahead and did that. So let's get back to our uh, Databricks notebook. So this was the code we used in our last demo. In this demo, we're gonna show you that this is how easy it is to connect to our key vault. So essentially you, you type this command, which is written in Python and you specify the secret, that's the secret scope. And then this is the key value. So there's a one for one. You have this, this, and this, which align nicely with these three. So with that said, you can see that the Databricks stuff was hard coded here for the storage account. And we've replaced those values with our, our variables, which we're grabbing from the secrets. And let's go ahead and run this code. Now, keep in mind, you only have to do this one time. And what that does, it's going to mount our files and our files are stored in our Azure Storage Explorer, we can we can look at our storage account and the storage account has a blob container. The blob container has demo and the demo has these two files, the CSV, which I uploaded a little while ago or yesterday. And this job is running and it's going to simulate this code here without all this uh, meaningful information exposed. So it's going to read in our values from the key vault. And if we wanted to look at the key vault values, you simply click on here and you can see that there's multiple iterations. So you click on the current version and you say, oh, show me the secret value. Well, there's the secret value, which aligns nicely because we copied and pasted it from here. And this job just ran. So what that means is we've mounted uh, the CSV files. So let's go ahead and run this command. And what it's going to do, it's going to show you the contents of the CSV. So what we did was we connected to our storage account, which is what we did in our last video. But we added an extra feature of implementing the connection to the key vault. And that's important because a lot of that information is no longer exposed uh, to the developers. It's stored here in the key vault. And as you can see, we can maintain multiple iterations. It's hidden from majority of people and you can lock these down pretty good. So there's a lot of advantages for using key vault. So there you go. If you would like to discuss this Databricks or key vault further or have questions on Azure or the Power Platform, Click on the link below for more information. We'll be happy to discuss it with you further. Again, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.